celebrate me and minister to you. The song is called This Christmas Day. Mm. Help if I turn up the guitar. <laughs> Yeah. All right. That was great. The only thing I would say, everything was great in terms of sound because we didn't get to do something beforehand. I think, Daniel, you're the lead singer, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Daniel, turn up your mic uh, a, a, a little more than a smidge. Everything else was fine okay. for me. Okay. Perfect. All Thanks right. so much for that Thank feedback. You. Yeah, Thank sure. You. A little bit more, Daniel, on uh, your vote on the mic. Check, check. Just Keep going. Bring up the game. Checkity, check, 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 check. There we go. Check. There we go. There we go. Again, sorry about the delay, guys. No, perfect. That was great. All Rock. right. So our next song is actually has a very weird origin. So I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you guys about it. I was in a uh, youth worship band, you know, before I got signed and I, and, you know, and I was working on stuff. Um, and a lot of the kids in the youth group were kind of like, you know, um, you know, you're in the band, we're not, but can we can we do things, you know, more rock style, more sound, more rah? And I was like, guys, I mean, you, you, and, you know, you could talk to the youth pastor as easily as I could, but I'm the one with the guitar, so I'm going to do it. So I said, hey, you know, the kids, they really want to want to go for it with the worship. Oh, no, no, we, we don't need good sound. We just need Jesus. And while I do believe that Jesus is what we need, don't get me wrong, don't get it twisted, I told him, I said, well, you know, we could take the seventh grade guy and whose voice is all like this and just throw him up on the stage with no instruments and see how well we can worship. And then he's like, wow, you know. So the other guys had a plan, and they said, 
you know, he's probably just used to worship with these songs in this very acoustic -y style. What if we had a new song? So I said, all right. And I went, uh, went away, wrote a song. I'm like, yeah, woo, worship the Lord. All right, come back. And I played it for the youth pastor. And he's like, that's amazing. Who's that by? I'm like, I wrote that. He goes, you wrote it? Oh, man. I was like, can we do it in worship? And he goes, uh, well, uh, gee, uh, I don't, I don't really know, you know. Um, so when I did get signed, I made a record about it. He found out about it. And, I, you know, I wasn't working, you know, I wasn't in his youth group. Obviously, I was out of youth group by that point. But he wasn't too happy. Not He, he was very happy I, I had gotten signed and I was working in music. But I don't think he was too happy that the song that he thought he was in charge of still had a life after it. But I, I can't deny the truth of this song, you know. This is all straight up about the reason why we worship God and, you know, not everybody brings it the acoustic style, which is still very, very great. And I still do some songs in that style, but I'm not exclusively locked to that style is what I'm saying. Yeah, me neither. And actually meeting Red really helped me to understand that because, like, I came to my walk only two years ago after meeting Daniel at a party through another mutual friend. And he was like, oh, let me tell you about Jesus. I'm like, yeah, that's really great. I'm a good guy. And I think that, you know, if there is a heaven, I'll get there through that, you know. And I'm like, uh he kept on praying, and then I ended up um, serving for a short amount of time uh, with Red at Angel City, and just this idea that um, there's so many genres. Red knows them all, and he's been doing that for so many years. So thank you, Red, for exposing me to the fact, and Daniel as well, that it doesn't have to be, you know, all worship, all acoustic guitars. It doesn't have to be inner chord all the time. So yeah, let's celebrate Jesus, right? Let, yeah. let, let's do it. Yeah. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do the song now. This song is actually ironically called Worshipping Your Name, and it starts off like this. Um, one, two, three, four! Jesus, you're the one who comforts me. Jesus, you're the one who sets me free from my sin and my shame. I will never be the same, and I will be Worshiping your name for your blood on the cross that you shed to save the lost. You paid a price that I could not afford. You rose from the grave for the world you came to save. You're the Christ, Messiah, and I love Jesus. You're the one that comes to save. Jesus, you're the one who rescues me from my fear and my pain. I will never be the same. And I will be eternally worshiping your name for your blood on the cross that you shed to save the lost. That I could not afford You rose from the grave For the world you came to save You're the Christ, Messiah, and my love Rock it! I will be eternally worshiping your name for your blood on the cross that you shed to save the lost. You paid a price that I could not afford. You rose from the grave for the world you came to save. You're the Christ. Yeah. yeah. All right. You know, it's it's about, I mean, that's certainly a joyful noise, a beautiful one, actually. I do a lot of joyful, just noise, yeah, horrible noise. Yeah, but uh, 
you know, when uh, people have problems with that kind of music in church, I wonder, like, it's the last, it's the easiest one. If you're lazy, you're a lazy Bible reader, and you <laughs> go, go to Psalms, and you go Psalm 1, and then maybe you'll go, oh, the Proverbs, I like that. And then you go to the last Psalm. The last Psalm says, it's the la the, almost the last line, praise him with the clash of cymbals. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. say with the tinkling of, you know, the there's triangle. a clash. Exactly. So, well done, guys. Thank you Thank for your you. service there. What do you have you know, on tap for us next? On tap for us next, this is a song about, well, before we do that, I wanted to tell everybody some big news. Now, normally, whenever I play at Christmas time, I have my Christmas EP on sale, and, you know, that usually does really well for me, you know, helps me buy presents and everything. But in this time of COVID, a lot of fundraising is not getting done for people who really need it. And... So I'm going to give my EP away for free, absolutely 100% for free this year, and this year only so far. Leif, why don't you tell them how they can get it? That's right, and it's to entice people, actually. The first time that I started playing with Daniel is because he has such a heart for charity. The first time that we played a gig together, I was playing in a... Um, you were playing Common Ground, I and I had Common, other yeah. people with me, yeah. Right, and, um, and we were doing a charity for a Blind Children's Foundation. And then the next PCLC, time, yeah. Next time we played, we played for who we're raising money for this Christmas, this is 30 children at a place called the Grace Champions Orphanage in Kenya. And uh, these children have been through it all, guys. Uh, but God's hand has been on their salvation, you know, earthly and, and um, you know, in their heavenly salvation um, for the, ent the entire time. But I've seen them go through locust swarms of biblical proportions. I've seen them go through mudslides. Mudslides. That hail swallow storms. people up. Yeah. Oh, and, they, and their hail is ridiculous. Yeah, and they live in a little 10 by 10 kind of dirt hut. But there's so much joy on these children's faces from what it is that um, that they get from Jesus, first of all, and then, of course, uh, the, the kindness of strangers. So on Red's Room page, we are going to post uh, the GoFundMe link. Yes. And you'll be able to go there and, as an enticement as well, get all of the music that you're hearing tonight. Uh, that Daniel originally recorded on his Christmas EP. Yeah, that's for right. For free, for seven days. So yeah. we will send that on uh, on Red's room. And I just believe that God is going to move in that. So that's I'm taking right. my now, hand off of it. And now, yeah. now our, our, our publicist actually put that it's there with any donation, but it's actually there whether you donate or not. You can get the free EP. But we're hoping you stay and that whatever you would have spent on that EP, you'll give to these kids because they absolutely need the help. And we're going to move on with a song. Some people, when you, when you meet a new person, especially at Christmas time, it's it's oh look at their their Christmas sweater, look at their Santa hat, like like this one here, and they're like, well look at their eyes, look at their hair, look at I'm wearing headphones, so I'm not gonna wear this. <laughs> um, look at look at this, look at that. But this song is about noticing something completely completely different, and this song is called Genius. One, two. Three. That girl is a genius. Yeah, yeah. Crack open them books, take a look at them once, and she's memorized every night. And she's rocking those cute little steel toe boots at the party, and she's looking fine. She's leaving to decode a page of Navajo. I'm telling her I wish she wouldn't go. I know. Girl is a genius. She got it all upstairs. The way she pulls a formula from the air, and I mean it. It's more than chemistry beyond relativity. We should have seen this. We were in my car with the sunroof open, looking at the stars, and then she just pointed each one out to me. See, that girl is a genius. Yeah. Time in the lab for a breakthrough in energy. And she's got 29 better things for her time, but she's hanging out here with me. She's looking for a way to visit yesterday. I'm telling her that it'll be okay. You, say, you may not believe this. That 
girl is a genius. She got it all upstairs. The way she pulls the formula from mid air, and I mean this, it's more than chemistry. Beyond relativity, you should have seen this. You were in my car with the sunroof open, looking at the stars, and then she just pointed each one out to me. You see, that girl is a genius. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a formula for what I feel inside. I just hear an orchestra when I look in her eyes. Someday I may understand, but it's all. That girl is a genius, she got it all upstairs. The way she pulls up on your from the air. And I mean, man, it's more than chemistry. Beyond relativity, you should have seen this. We were in my car with the sun roof open, looking at the stars. And then she just said we were meant to be. You see, that girl is a genius. Yeah. It takes a genius to put relativity into a song, I think. That's an, a great lyric there. I don't think oh, I've ever heard relativity you. in there. Nice job. Hey, okay. Thank you, thank you. And, you know, I was talking to Leif, and I go, isn't it funny how it's the sun roof that's open to look at the stars, because what is the sun, right? And he's like, he's like, it's a star. And I was like, it is. Yeah, and another thing, too, to, um, that will be the next EP, and actually, yeah, you know. Yeah, that's the next single that we're putting out. We were just, I'm glad yeah. you rem you're yeah. reminding us, because we were just in the studio a week ago tonight working on this, so which, again, COVID closures helped us to get a studio space for this, and, yeah, it's, com it's coming out in the middle of, of January. So we're right. really excited. Keep looking for it. Ch you know, check our, check our Spotify and all that. You got a nice compliment on uh, on Facebook. Tiki says that you guys are like Green Day meets Jesus. That was pretty nice. <gasps> oh wow, that's my a huge gosh, compliment. that is a huge, that's, that's com huge for compliment. You. Yeah. Uh, yeah, especially me for me. Yeah. Okay, okay. Right, <laughs> yeah. We have one more song to get to. All right, great. One more. We'd like to hear your last song. All right, our last song. And thank you for that compliment. I will be on a high for that and telling everybody at my family Christmas what, what was said there. But our last song, song called For Christmas. And For Christmas is just for fun. I had a great time writing this. We always have a great time doing it. And let's, let's just close out the night having some fun because God allows us to have fun. We are Christians. We're all here in Jesus' name. And a lot of people forget that and think that they have to drench every last musical piece in super serious stuff. Not the case with the Lord. What, what would you say on that before we get started? Me, yeah. Well, my attitude is when we look at Jesus and we look how he dealt with people and we think about the fact that fingers were pointed at him for who he hung out with, which means that the unsavories of the day uh, wanted to be with him. And yeah. those are the people, he didn't come for the righteous, he said, he came for the sick. It was the sick people that wanted to hang out with him. So he had to be a pretty fun dude. And that Super meant that he wasn't born. Man. Yeah, Jesus he, he fun, couldn't. Man. Yeah, song exactly. Right. I need a oh. doctor. Oh. But the, the Christian version. Yeah, <laughs> well, like a completely different song, though, because yeah. otherwise you get sued. Sure, but we're yeah. not going to get sued. Right. So we're going to do not this tonight. song, <laughs> this song called For Christmas. That's, that's again, I wrote it myself, and, and man, it's fun. I was hanging out at home. Neighbors on the phone saying it's so wrong. You gotta turn it down. I don't wanna hear the sound. Can you just go out of town for Christmas? Merry Christmas, Happy New Year too. All the very best from me to you. We have fun no matter what we do for Christmas. 
All right. Thank you. A lot of joy in there. We love joy. Thank you, Jesus, for joy. Amen. And the